Well, that was interesting. I got a, I got disconnected because it said I had a poor connection, but I didn't. Unless there was a fluke with the internet connection. So I guess this will be part five. I didn't mean for five parts. It's two o'clock. So, I don't know what happened, but something happened. Oh, well. So, hi, Cammy. Sorry about that. It it said pause due to poor connection and then just disconnected it. But my connection was just fine. I mean, I've got my, I've got my computer up right here, and it never lost internet. So, I don't know what that was about. Yeah, something went wrong, that's for sure. That is for sure. I think the deer looks cute. Not quite what I wanted, but that's okay. That's okay. Just gonna... Kind of knock that nose. Hi, Aziska. Welcome to the stream. Oh, is he dry? He's dry, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover him so I don't mess it up too much. It is 2 p.m. I have to leave about in about an hour because um, I'm gonna have to go to the bus stop and pick up my daughter from school and bring her home and then go get my other daughter from school let's see do I want a black nose what time is it for you Kimmy you gotta put kids to bed soon Get that medium flesh again. That was a little blacker than I wanted it. There we go. No. Yeah, my day starts about three o'clock when I don't have the kids. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, it starts when I feel like it. That I'm really busy in the morning, and I'm really busy in the afternoon. Otherwise, I'm I'm pretty, pretty lax. Yeah, mommy's time. Mommy's time. A glass of wine. Actually, I can't drink that often. Not because I can't. I just don't like to. I used to be an alcoholic, ish. Yeah. Well, you have that little one, so that's really hard. Ha having a one-and-a-half-year-old is really hard to get some alone time. I have a glass of wine every now and then when um, my medication makes my insomnia pick up. When I'm just like, I'm sitting here at 10 o'clock and I'm like, I've got to go to bed. I'm not even tired. So I'll have a glass of wine, but that's about it. My dad was an alcoholic, is an alcoholic. He is still currently, he has not stopped. Um, my mom's working on it. And uh, so it runs in the blood. So I try, I try not to. Oh, was he a super wild kid? Yeah. I, those are fun, but man, are they so tiring. I guess it's just stop. Yeah, you do grow up with it. Everybody's got a drink. I remember, so I told my mom this the other day. Not the other day. Everything's the other day for me, so sorry. 
it's not technically the other day, it was probably the last time she was here around Halloween. Um, but I was telling my mom, I was like, do you remember when I'd go up to dad's recliner and I'd bang on the back of it and he would pretend to like stretch and then hand me his beer and I'd take a drink and then hand it back to him. She was like, he did what? (laughs) I was like, you, wait, you didn't know that? She's like, no, I didn't know that. It's like, yeah. She goes, well, how long was that going on? I said, I can remember being too big to creep behind there anymore and still doing it. (laughs) She was just like, what the heck? (laughs) Like, she was so mad. Like, I could see her pulling out her phone and calling my dad and just chewing a new one. And then she was just, I hate your father. I was just like, okay. (laughs) I think it's funny now, but, you know, I understand. Like, as a mom now, I totally understand her point of view. Look, I am getting such a dent in my finger. Um, But as a mom, I totally understand her point of view. Like, I would be so pissed if somebody gave my kids alcohol. Like, I would... They barely have any caffeine. I don't think they've had caffeine. Yeah, it's always when you look back. I don't think my kids have even had caffeine. Um, No, I take that back. I guarantee one of their aunts gave it to them. But, like, I don't give them caffeine. I give them... Root beer that's caffeine-free, so they can make root beer floats. Hi, Malfiki, Malfiki. Welcome back. I had technical difficulties on the last... I'm going to finish up this stream, or maybe just this, uh... Maybe just this, uh... What is this? It's a deer. My brain, legit blank. It was so blank. Like, I could picture it, but I couldn't think of the word. (laughs) I have such a bad problem with that. Like, I can picture it, but I can't think of the word. So, I'm just... This is going to be a kind of a light and fluffy uh, chest part on the deer. It's not going to be too dark. And then I'll do, like, this... On the rest of it. I think this is turning out to be kind of nice. It's always amazing. Either doing it yourself or watching other people do it. Going from nothing to color. Like that's, I know, isn't he adorable? I just love it. It's always amazing watching it going from a a flat line drawing to color. I I like that process. That always makes me happy. And watching other people do it makes makes me happy too. Not just me. It's always so amazing. It does. It really does come to life. And these are some, I mean, like, there are some really, really pretty pictures where you could just, like, leave it, and it's a beautiful work of art. And then you put color to it, and you're just like, oh, there's, like, angels singing. You know, unless you're like me and you never finish a page. I really want to finish this. I have... I have high hopes. I have high hopes for myself. Going back over with the ivory to just kind of blend it so it doesn't look too choppy anywhere. Not that I think it does, but just in case. A little bit of that ivory. Okay. Let's see. 
Let's do this one leg here. So I'm starting off with the lightest, the beaster. I do too. <laughs> I want to see it finished too, Kimmy. I do. I think it'll be pretty. I hope, unless I really screw up the colors. But I don't think I will. I mean, it's going to be blue, green, and red, basically. Oh, Malfiki, I have so many whips too. I'm, I'm notoriously bad. So I started this page last night. And in Jen Cat's little holiday book, I started this. So I started two pages last night. So, you know, if that gives you any idea of how bad I am with whips, works in progress. Um, for those not in the know, I hate when I'm reading a text and I've got all these like TFW, GTG, all those little, I don't even know what to call them. They're not quite acronyms, I don't think. Maybe they are. Maybe they're just called acronyms. But all these little sayings, I'm like, uh, huh? I get LL, I get WTF, I get WIP. Beyond that, I get SOS, like I understand SOS. I, Kimmy, I used to be where I had to finish the page I'm working on. I was not, I would not allow myself to go to another page or another project until I finished the page I was working on. At some point, that all went to hell. <laughs> like at some point, I legit said, screw this, <laughs> and just started so many different pages. Uh, I'm, I, I really wish I could get back to that where I, where I had to finish a page. Because um, I think I might be happier that way. Because every now and then, like, I'll not want to finish a page and I just stare at my books. And, like, I'll be like, Dave, I don't know what to color. And he'll be like, uh huh. <laughs> he'll, like, look at my books. And he'll, uh huh. <laughs> he goes, close your eyes and point. I'm just like, no, I don't want to color that one. No, I don't want to color that. So I really do need to Oh, these ones the the really long ones. Those I use a hand crank pencil sharpener. It's a Helix A5. And it does. It just hand cranks and it gets it so stinking sharp. Let's see if I have a fresh so it just gets it so stinking sharp. It's awesome. So I don't know if, yeah. I love it. But because it is attached to my desk, if I go to use it, it shakes my whole desk. Um, so I've been using the Tagal on a five. So these are, these are the Tagal on a five. And these are the Helix A5 hand crank and then from there on it's just rotating you just rotate your pencil to, to keep a point on it
You're welcome. You're welcome. I I love my hand crank. So when the when the guy was here earlier to do the estimate for the work, um, he saw my hand crank because part of the work, part of the problem is in my office here, and he saw my hand crank. He goes, "You don't see those very often anymore." It's, no, no, sir, you do not. I was like, I gotta get one of those. So I had to tell him where to get it. <laughs> I had to write down for him what it was, and I got it for off of Amazon. I said, if you get the old ones from the from like school, the old metal ones that you had to attach to a wall or something. So those are like fifty bucks. I said, but mine was like, I, I've seen it on and off for about fifteen. Usually runs around twenty. Which isn't bad. They're, the Derwent has one, and it's about twenty five. But it's an investment. I mean, but it works. And um, I did learn that you need to use graphite pencils. Um, if you sharpen graphite pencils in your pencil sharpeners, it'll make them last longer. Just every now and then. Yeah, so for my Prismas, Kimmy, I use Tagal on a three. Um, the one is too small and the five is too long. And the three seems to be pretty perfect for me. Um, it gets those. Enough that if I, I want to shade, like with my pencil, flat-ish, I've, I've got enough lead that I can do that. Yeah, I don't sharpen my Prismas in the hand crank. I tried, but then they just kept snapping, and it was ticking me off. Let's see. I need some I need some black in here. I need some shadow. Looks like it's wearing high heels. It's killing me. Yeah, you should try the 3. It gives it gives enough of a point that you can do so, stuff with. Um, but it's not so sharp that you feel like you're going to snap it every time, you know? And one was just too short for me. There we go. One leg. One beautiful leg. Oh, let's see. On on to the next. So it kind of bugs me that this line, so it doesn't connect. So I'm just going to connect it. There we go. It does look like it's high heels. That's so funny. Girl. I don't know why I was holding my breath on that, but I was. There's a helicopter going over. <laughs> Oopsies. No worries, Kimmy. My daughter's got her first sleepover since moving here with some friends, the Girl Scout friends. 
she is so excited. And we were walking to the bus stop today. She goes, remember when you never let me have a sleepover? I'm like, no, I don't remember that. She goes, yeah, back in Ohio, you never let me have a sleepover. I was like, but you had sleepovers at Haley's house? So I'm not sure what you're talking about. And she was like, Adam, and she's like, yeah, you you said. I was like, no. What, for sleepovers? Sleepovers were not fun in high school, but Girl Scout sleepovers was really fun. I always ended up losing my voice every single time. I don't know what it was. Any time for Girl Scouts we had a sleepover or camp or whatever, I always lost my voice. So the girls thought that was good fun. Yeah, it just kills me. I want a, like a high heel. I just can't unsee it. I can't unsee it. Deer's looking fabulous. Hello, Asher. Oh, good. You see it too, Kimmy. Thank goodness, because that is just... <laughs> I don't know why. I don't even like... Like, I don't wear high heels. So I'm not sure why that's, like, stuck in my brain. But it does. I just want to... Just a little high heel. Some shadow under his ruffle in the front there. Let's see, go back to the beaster here. I need to keep an eye on the time. So I feel like I need to recant my promise to my daughter that I will always let her buy books. Because I told her one time that I will, I will say no to toys, I will say no to candy, I will say no, you know, I will say no a lot. I said, but I'll never say no to books. You know, because it, it, it's books. If a kid wants books, my theory was, why would you say no? My kid has too many books. And there's a book fair coming up at school. So I'm like, but I know if I tell her that, hey, maybe she has enough books, she'll be like, but mommy, you said I could always have a book. And I'll be like, I know that's what I said. But I feel like I put, didn't leave enough highlight. Maybe I did. I know, books are always good. I mean, there are so many other things she does and could ask for. Um, like an Xbox. To play Pokemon. But she's... She really has so many books. Like, I can't even... And they're all nonfiction. Like, she's a, she's a nonfiction junkie. It's all going to be science books and learning books and discovery books. And, and I'm just like, oh. like, how many reptile books do you need? Like, <laughs> like at some point, they're repeating themselves, right? I know. I see, and I'm a book junkie too. Um, 
though now it's Kindle. But still, at some point... Yeah, she's got a, a reptile encyclopedia, reptilopedia. She wants to be a reptile vet when she grows up. She's got a bunch of reptile books. But still, I'm just like, aren't you sure you have enough? Oh, I I can't remember the last time I bought clothes. I used to be a big perfume, indie perfume junkie. Um... Like I'd buy, I'd buy indie made perfume all the time. So I still have so much, um, and I'd always, always buy it. But I quit, quit all. Oops, quit all of that. Electric eraser. Shoot, that got more than I wanted. Aw, she really wants, she either wants a bearded dragon or a chameleon. And I'm leaning towards a chameleon because I read somewhere in her many books that I read to her sometimes that bearded dragons only um, connect with one person. And so, like, if it connected just with her, she would be the only one able to, like, feed it and care for it and whatnot. So, I don't know that that would be feasible because I have two kids. You had two what, Kimmy? What reptiles did you have? Oh, with the bearded dragons? Yeah. I don't know. I would just be afraid that it wouldn't like my youngest and she would be so devastated if she couldn't also play with the the reptile. Holy cow, that's a lot of that's a lot of animals. Let's see. Sorry, my wrist is starting to hurt, so I have to pop it every now and then. Let's do the tail, because I'm going easy. <laughs> I'm copping out, can you tell? Like, I don't want to do the body. Actually, let's just do it. Just do it. Just Nike. Just do it. Oh, let's hope that doesn't get pulled for copyright infringement or some crap like that. Wouldn't that be funny? Three dogs, one cat. Or three cats, holy cow, I could not read. Three cats, one dog, a ferret, and a fish tank. <laughs> yeah, our landlord won't let us have cats or dogs. Um, but I would have cats, not a dog. I would have cats. Um, I like cats. Cats are not, well, the cats aren't necessarily nice, but I had a Maine Coon. Big old fluffy orange thing. He was the he was the loviest thing I ever had. I miss him. Oh, you have three cats too, Malfiki. Nice. Cats and dogs seem to be a common theme theme among among uh, colorists. Or maybe it's just the ones I follow. Maybe I'm the common theme. <sighs> Mind blown. So 
sorry, if nobody can tell, I'm highly sarcastic. Um, and sometimes I really think I'm funny. So, <laughs> uh, I amuse myself. Let me, let me say that. I amuse myself. It is a good thing to amuse yourself. Yeah, cats can be like kids. My my big fluffy, I called him Yanto. Um, yes, if if he followed Torchwood, yes. Um, he was my lover. Not like that. Don't be crazy. Um, he was just a sweet boy, and he would choke me at night because he was so dang fat. And heavy, because he was a Maine Coon. And those dang cats. Like, he was 25 pounds easy. Fluff or no fluff, he was 25 pounds. It was huge. And he was a sweetie. But he was so lovey. Like, he was so loving. That I was legit afraid he would love... While I was pregnant with Kaylee, I was I was seriously afraid he would love her to death. Because he would. He would lay on my neck. Um, and then, like, knead on my chest. And having 25-pound cat just press on your chest. Like, yeah, that, that was killer. And I couldn't imagine... Like, I'd be so, I was so afraid he would do that to, to her, the baby. So I gave him to my husband's cousin, where he still lives. He's still happy. I can go see him. They, they renamed him to Blondie, though I don't know why he's orange, not blonde, but whatevs. Um, they renamed him to Blondie. So, I mean, he's, he's in a good home, and I can still see him. Um, so... But I did. I gave him. I gave him away, because I was very worried he would be. He would love my daughter to death. One of your cats always needs your chest, Muffy King. Yeah, that's how you know you're loved. Yeah, I don't. I don't have to miss him. I can go see him whenever. All I have to do is text his cousin and be like, can I have a picture of my baby? And she'll send it. She'll be like, you can have him back. No. <laughs> but seriously, if, if, if I buy this house or if we go into another house where I can have cats, I would seriously consider taking him back. Like I would... I would sit my husband down and be like, all right, Yanta's coming home. And then my husband would be like, uh. <laughs> and my kids would rejoice and I would be, I would be the favorite. I'd be a good parent again, as my youngest said. She came up to me one day. She pats me on the shoulder and looks me in the eye and goes, you're going to be a good mommy one day. And I, I was like, uh, thanks. And then, Am I not a good mommy now? She goes, yeah, but you'll be a great one one day. <laughs> I was like, okay, thanks. I can't even with that kid. She kills me. The stuff, the stuff that comes out of her mouth, I'm just like, where did this come from? Like, where, where do you even come up with this stuff? She's got such an imagination. She's got imag She's got a couple imaginary friends. My young one, my little one, my oldest. She's like, 
she's so literal and so logical and so just like it is what it is and that's you can't tell me any different and if you tell me any different I'm gonna melt down um but the the youngest she's just so imaginative she has she has a couple imaginary friends and one of them lives up in Canada and at the time she brought this up I'm not even sure she knew Canada was actually a place like I don't know how she learned about Canada it's it's very weird I think she was about two when she finally brought it up and said Ella lives in Canada I'm like well, how, 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 how do you know where Canada like how do you know about Canada? You're two years old. It's not like it's not like my husband and I go around singing Oh Canada or anything. We're not Canadian. No offense, Canadians, love you. Uh <laughs> but you know, like the stuff these kids this kid comes up with, I can't I can't deal with her. <laughs> She's too much. She's just too much. It is. It's very interesting to listen to her talk. Like, she's got some stories. And she's all like, remember remember when Ella and I, we went diving in this lake, and we swam to the bottom, and there was this monster down there, and then we fought them. I'm just like, okay. And she's like, legit, this is like, what happened? If you tell her any different... Or if you suggest any different, like, she gets very upset. She is, she's my card. She kills me. The other night when she was, I was trying to get her to eat dinner, um, she had gotten a phone call from Santa telling her that she needed to listen to her parents more. And uh, she goes, at dinner, she goes, I have to listen to your commands. <laughs> not not listen to what you say not not do what you say I have to listen to your commands I was like okay sure kids are something else they really are I forget what happened one day. I think Dave was, my husband was in his office and Zoe, I was cooking dinner and Zoe comes up and she goes, you don't like daddy anymore, do you? I'm like, what? She goes, he's not in the kitchen helping you. Because he was helping me for Thanksgiving and so this is after Thanksgiving. And uh, she goes, you don't like him anymore, do you? Like, no, I, I, I kind of love him. <laughs> and she goes, oh, okay. And just like totters off. <laughs> like, what? But yesterday, I was, I was going to, I was kind of suggesting that we need to go get sleds before it gets too cold and they sell out or anything. So I was like, oh, we should go to the store. And I was like, you know what? That's something I really want to do with both of you. I really want Kaylee and you together. So we'll wait until Kaylee's off of school to do that. And she was like, no, I want to go. I'm like, no, we really should do it together. Like, that should be you, me, and Kaylee. We should just go together. So she comes walking down the stairs, and she goes, you love me. I say, yeah, I do love you. She goes, you love me more than Kaylee trying to get me to go to the store <laughs> I was just like no no I do not like I was tr so hard not laughing like it was all I could do not to bust a gut I was, no no I don't love you more than Kaylee I love you both the same and then I had her go play and I'm just like <laughs> 
where did this come from? Like, how? I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. You love me more. And she said it like, and don't you tell me any different. (laughs) I was like, oh my gosh. I just can't even. I can't even with that kid. And some of it I know is from her going to preschool now. And she's just getting... There's this one girl, Sasha. She just sounds like Sasha. Because she told me when I met her, she goes, my name is Sasha. My kids are a riot, Malif- Malfiki. They are a riot. Not all the time, but gosh darn, do they have their moments. <sighs> And sometimes it's all I can do to, like, try to correct them while trying not to laugh my butt off because whatever they just said or did is too funny. There's this girl, Sasha, at Zoe's preschool. And I want to go, I want to go pick a Zoe up one day and they had had a Halloween party on a day that Zoe doesn't go to school because it's a daycare so they they have kids that are there five days a week and Sasha's one of them and uh, Sasha had saved Zoe a Halloween treat bag from a party from the party And she gave it to Zoe, and she goes, you better come over here and tell me thank you. (laughs) And this is a four-year-old kid. And I, I looked at her, and I looked at Zoe, and I was just like, I don't care if you don't go say thank you. Uh, Because I didn't want her to, like, respond, and then Sasha to think, well, okay, she can talk to my daughter like that anyway. And then as we were leaving... The, the teacher had gotten her attention. As we were leaving, I told Zoe that she needed to say thank you. Um, but yeah, she goes, you better come over here and say thank you. It's like, holy cow. And apparently she's bit this other kid, Oliver, his face a couple times. <laughs> Ah, oh, see, and stuff like this makes me not want to send my kids anywhere. Like, really? What type of kid bites somebody's face? I mean, imagine trying to bite a face. Oh, I bet her mom says that. Oh, I can guarantee it. I did see her grandmother one time, you know, after a face-biting incident with Oliver. Apparently her and Oliver get into it all the time. Um, Like, can you imagine trying to get the meat on a face in your mouth? Like, that's that takes some effort. That takes some, like, jaw-loosening effort. You really got to want it, you know? And she does it multiple times. Like twice that I know of. And who knows how many before Zoe got into the school. So, you know, she's a peach. But yeah, so I worry a lot of Zoe's behavior is coming from stuff like that. Where, you know, you have this this girl who's like, you better do what I say or else... Then Zoe comes home. Well, you better do what I say, and then it doesn't go over. <laughs> then it doesn't go over very well. Here, um, there's a well-used timeout spot. Her, uh, she slammed her door on more than one occasion on me because I said no. I just, I don't know. I love my kids. I wouldn't give them whatever they want. You know, as long as they're good. And deserve it. 
and need it. I don't see. My daughter doesn't need an Xbox, so she's not getting an Xbox. But my husband did find, oh, my husband found his old 35 millimeter camera from way back when. So he's going to fix it up for my daughter. Since the one that's in photography club, he's going to fix it up and get her some, uh, film. And I'm, I'm like, I'm so excited for that. Like, I can't imagine... It's one of those really big cameras, too. It has the big zoom and, and all that. Like, I think she needs a good hobby like that. I think that would be good for her. I think I might. I might, might, might be just about done with this little deer. Can you believe that? So I think this will be part five up on YouTube, which is okay. It's just going to take me probably a day and a half to upload it. Which is fine, fine, fine. I think the deer's looking pretty good. That's a very feminine hind quarter. <laughs> oh, I kill myself. Maybe, maybe it's a, maybe it's a, in transition. Maybe it doesn't want to be a deer anymore. Maybe it wants to be a doe. Keep calling it a doe. I think it's because the heels. Let's see. I got it all. It's a pretty deer. Let me do a little bit more. At least one more of the berries on there. I was using the apple barrel, red apple, matte acrylic paint. Just a dollop. I don't even need that much, but it'll be dry by the time I go to do any others. Because after this, I probably won't be able to color again until this evening after dinner. Let's see. I think that's good. Just that one more. That's really all I needed. Probably could have pulled the paint from the lid. Oh well. So. Careful. Easy cleanup. That's my motto. Is there anything I need? I need. I kind of want to do it the same color as the antlers. So that was brown ochre, beaster, and ivory. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'll do a red bow. I'm not going to get fancy and do the stripes. I'll just do it all red and and that'll be that to match his, his little berry. His little berries. Not those berries though. And thank you, Kimmy. 
one's very sweet. I'm pretty pleased with myself right now. I'm actually more amazed at how much I've gotten done with this, how slow I color. Like I've, I've accomplished a lot in a little bit in four or five hours for me. This is actually coloring pretty fast for me. I'm not normally this speedy. There we go. His hooves are done. No, I don't want to rush. Because when I rush, it looks sloppy. Um... Yeah, I'm going to finish him. Might as well, right? So I'm going to go back to the dark red and the permanent carmine. Just my tried and true red from him. So pulling over, so balancing out, right? He's all dry. Oh, I don't want to rush, but I also don't want to take forever either, you know? Let's see. Let's actually... There's a little fold right in here. There. I'm probably not going to finish this on this stream, which is okay. But I'll put I'll put the streams up on YouTube. Scarlet red, orange glaze, and light magenta. I love orange glaze. Gla I love orange glaze. It's a very beautiful color. It's very vibrant. Very bold. And deep scarlet, scarlet red. Scarlet red is on the orange. The deep scarlet red is uh, a little more ready. But yeah, I like the, I like the orange glaze. That reminds me of the fast orange from Pablos, Carandash Pablos. That's a really nice orange too. There's an or orange glaze in the prismas. Or is that what you're using the color right now? I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not catching what you're throwing down there. Oh, you have three Pablos. They're they're nice. They do have a learning curve. Sorry, I'm just concentrating, trying to make sure I don't miss the timer going and yelling at me. Oh, I gotcha. I understand now, Kimmy. Sorry, my brain doesn't 
always catch up to what other people are saying or trying to say. Pretty red bow. I am so music deprived right now. As soon as I turn this off, I'm turning on music. <laughs> Come in top and bottom on this. Trying to preserve that little highlight there. Yeah, Kimmy, I always have music on too. Except for when I'm going to put something up on YouTube and I cannot because then it will be flagged for copyright issues and won't be allowed to be put up. Otherwise, I'd have Christmas music playing. Sorry, my screen went black on my computer, not my phone. Yeah. <clears throat> there. Let's see. You try it. Wasn't yeah, just about. I won't mess. I won't mess and put the highlights like I did for a while. Not until that really dries. I don't want to. I don't have to redo it. That would make me sad. That'd be a sad panda. So I have I have a couple of books that I know I'm never gonna color in. And I want to do. Like, I want to do a giveaway when I get to, like, 500 followers or something. Except I would feel so bad about giving away these books. Because I tested a page for um, watercolor to see if watercolor would work. So, like, in the back or in the very, very front. Uh, YouTube channels, so far I don't have too many subscribers, so it's just my name. It's just Melissa M. Um, but it's listed under Instagram Color and Chat. In the description, I usually have the dates. But yeah, I only have a couple followers. I think you have to have like 50, maybe? I'm not sure. And I'm a terrible self-promoter, so, you know. But I would feel bad about giving away these, the books, because I had done testing on a page. So then I feel like they're used. Oh, I've got 18 seconds remaining. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for hanging. Thank you for watching. Um... Do all the clicky things, follow, subscribe, like, comment, and thank you.